must say. You tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Red Dead Redemption has been riding a seemingly unstoppable hype train, and players are expecting a game on par with GTA, with a brand new setting, better action, and expanded multiplayer. For the most part, that's exactly what they're going to get. The new and improved Red Dead delivers on its promises. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. <laughs> I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. John Marston certainly has the name and the face of a Wild West hero, and he's one of several solid characters that make Red Dead Redemption's story worth caring about. Strong writing and well-delivered dialogue work hard to sell a story that starts off a bit slow and can't always provide believable reasons for Marston's willingness to bend over backwards to do dirty work for just about everyone he meets. Playing the role of a heel causes a major disconnect, since the overall plot paints you as a good guy and family man. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. But despite the potentially problematic relationship to gameplay, it's not a bad yarn, with emotional high points and one or two interesting choices. Now get down there! Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Red Dead Redemption provides you with a broad stretch of land whose isolation and lawlessness make it perfect for adventure and exploration. The wildlife, as well as any human being you come across, is less predictable than you might expect, and both can be exploited to your advantage. While the gun is still your most commonly used means of interacting with the world, the non-lethal lasso is a great tool that adds a lot to the experience. Despite the world having its own unique flavor, there are strong structural similarities to Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto series. You'll take missions from important individuals and complete them to unlock more jobs for more people. While you can sometimes choose one option or another, there's an overall linear path to follow that takes you through the game's big moments on the way to an ending that holds some surprises. Hello, old friend. While it's not overly predictable or repetitive, you'll eventually learn to expect dozens of bandits to appear anytime you hop onto a stagecoach. You'll also become extremely familiar with the operation of a Gatling gun. The game develops at a very measured pace, staggering the appearance of optional activities like horseshoes or liar's dice, along with more important elements like dueling. Some of these are dull, while others are truly exciting, and the deliberate way they're introduced to you makes the game feel smaller than it actually is when you first begin. It'll take you around 20 hours to play through the story, and you'll spend many more on top of this if you aim to complete all the challenges and side missions. The game's multiplayer mode will extend your time even further. Using the world as a game lobby, players can team up with each other to take on gang hideouts or just run around shooting each other in the face. From there, you can join an organized game type like Free For All, Deathmatch, or a Capture the Flag variant to gain experience and unlock kit. It may not be elegant and balanced, but it's good chaotic fun that's fully in the spirit of the game's world. The land may be harsh and unforgiving, but John Marston is without question an extremely capable man. The dead eye ability slows down time to give you a distinct advantage over any man or beast that crosses your path. Deciding how to ration out your meter is a major strategic consideration, and as the ability improves, you can perform exhilarating feats of marksmanship. You may even find some pity for the poor fools who turn a gun on you, if the feeling of sheer dominance and virtuosity ever wears off. Who's next? You're also blessed with a resilient constitution that bounces back without the need for food or medical supplies. You start seeing red when you're taking damage, but keeping out of harm's way will clear things up. Dying isn't much of a penalty, but you do have to worry about racking up a bounty if you cross the law. While there are ways to absolve yourself of crimes, if you're brought in by a posse, it means repossession of your cash assets and some jail time. While he's a veritable superman in most regards, Marston does need a little help getting around. Having a horse is absolutely vital in this wide world. The game will always provide you with a default steed, but you can find, purchase, or tame faster and better mounts. If you find yourself needing to cover ground quickly, just whistle. Tapping A to spur your horse while minding its stamina lets you actively ride without feeling too intrusive. And when you're riding with the group, you can simply hold A to match their speed. The result feels natural and is quite convenient. 
If you're short on patience, camping in the wilderness allows you to quick travel in addition to change clothes and save your game. If you judge Red Dead Redemption solely on its depth and feel, it's a great action game with a lot of fine touches and very few flaws. Taking cover behind objects is occasionally awkward, and close range fighting can be clumsy and stilted. None of these qualms go far enough to spoil the fun though, and the broad range of actions you're capable of, plus the multitude of activities you can participate in, create a rich and worthwhile gameplay experience. I'm not some goddamn steer! The Wild West, as depicted in Red Dead Redemption, could be the best-looking open-world environment you've ever laid eyes on. And it definitely has the best-looking horses. Beautiful, real-seeming scenery complete with weather, wildlife, and action sells you on the illusion. There are still certain abstractions that remind you you're playing a video game, and the game isn't completely immune to the sort of open-world weirdness that causes occasional visual hiccups, but the believable animations, cinematic cutscenes depicting people that don't look dead or creepy unless they're actually supposed to, and a total lack of load times as you travel do much to suspend your disbelief. By rendering an expert treatment of its Wild West source material, Red Dead Redemption provides an excellent and original open world experience. The atmosphere and gameplay fit together almost perfectly. The game doesn't completely surpass the framework of the excellent GTA series, but that doesn't stop Red Dead from being an excellent game that duly earns its bounty. That must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. Hey.